to another video this is going to be my June new releases recap type of thing I did the first one of these in May I really enjoyed it I thought it was kind of like a fun little idea and basically I just talk about the movies that I picked up that, that were the new releases throughout the month of June so I picked up five new releases in June and I have watched all of them so I can talk to you a little bit about each one and yes I'm really excited June was a pretty okay month it wasn't as good as um, May and next month's looking a bit, there's not too much I'm going to pick up next month, but then August, September are looking great, so, um, but yeah, I kind of thought June wasn't the best, actually looking at what I've picked up, uh, I picked up some pretty good stuff, and I was really happy with it, so let's start off with the um, first Monday of June, as always I have a Monday movie hunt on each one of these, but um, first we'll get to the two movies that I did pick up on that first week, and well, the first one is, well, I'll do this one actually second, the first one I've got here, is Sean the Sheep the movie and as usual I have a review on all these apart from the last two because I'm reviewing them on Friday which is Friday Reviews um, but anyway so this one I've got a review on but it was so sweet and so cute and I've only seen it one time um, at the moment but I definitely want to watch it again it's a very short movie it's very sweet and it's kind of just it doesn't really have any talking so I really like how it's all done and how you could still get the message I think it was just done really cleverly I mean it is Aardman and Aardman are always great and um, so yeah I really enjoyed this I gave it four stars and I just, over, oh, did I get four and a half? You know what, I don't remember what I gave these movies now. I might have given it four and a half. I think I gave it four. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad that I picked it up. It looks stunning on Blu-ray. It looks really great. It's a beautiful little animation. And yeah, I definitely recommend Sean the Sheep the movie. Uh, I wasn't necessarily straight away going to pick this one up. Sometimes I do that. Um, sometimes I look at like what's coming out in the next month and I think, oh, what should I pick up? What do I want to pick up? And this one wasn't one that I was like, yes, I want to definitely pick that up. But as I heard more about it, um, you know, I just wanted to pick it up and I thought it sounded good. I watched it pretty much straight away and really enjoyed it. So yeah, Sean the Sheet the movie. And then the next one is probably my favourite of the whole month. And that is Whiplash. It's actually probably one of my favourite movies I've watched the entire year. This movie is fantastic. I gave this movie five stars. I absolutely love the heck out of it. I haven't watched it again yet though. Um, I don't know why. I, I was dying to watch it straight after I watched it. Actually, to be honest, June was a terrible watching month for me. I watched probably um, 12 movies maybe or maybe 12 or 15 so you know with these five I watched about 10 more movies and so it was a really bad watching month I just kind of had a lot of things to do and I was really busy uh, so I didn't watch too many things that probably is why if it, otherwise I might have watched this multiply I definitely will be watching it again very soon I just love the heck out of this if you haven't seen this movie I definitely recommend it it was such a powerful movie and it was kind of Oh, it was just a weird, I did, I did a review on it pretty much the day after I watched the movie and I feel like I, you know, I still feel like I didn't know what to say then either actually, but um, it's great, Miles Teller is fantastic, um, it's, it's, just, it's just a great movie, I think you should definitely watch Whiplash, I loved the heck out of this movie, and so yeah, it's my favourite of the Oscar, um, Oscar Best Picture nominated ones, I've only seen... I think I've seen four of them out of the bunch. Speaking of Oscar nominated best picture movies, American Sniper also came out this week, I believe, or it was the week next week. I'm not sure, I keep getting muggled up, but on my Monday movie hunt, it says it was this week. But um, And American Sniper, I do want to see, and I want to get it on Blu ray because at the moment I have all the um, Oscar best picture nominations on Blu ray and I've enjoyed them all. Um, there's not been one I haven't enjoyed, and that was also nominated for Oscar best picture, so maybe I'll enjoy it. Um, but I am just not as excited about it as I am other ones um, and then also this movie that I cannot pronounce everybody's told me how to pronounce it and for some reason I just can't get it right I wish somebody could tell me though in person like you know because on typing it's difficult still to figure out I think it's ex machina I keep calling I can't call it ex machina which is not even right I don't know what the movie's called but it looks like a good movie I've looked into it now and I'm like yes I definitely want to see that so I definitely want to pick that one up soon and check it out. A lot of you said it was a really great movie and that I'd enjoy it. Um, so that's definitely one that I do want to check out. Um, and I'm kind of looking forward to that one now. So yeah, that's pretty much all the movies that came out in the first week there of June. Okay, and then the next week of June, I actually didn't pick anything up, but there were some pretty big releases that you guys were all excited about. Mostly, Kingsman, The Secret Service. Everybody's loving the heck out of this movie. I need to pick it up because everybody loves it. I'm never the biggest Colin Firth fan even though he is growing on me and so I was just like oh yeah I'll watch that at some point but I won't rush out to pick it up and everyone's like oh my gosh it's amazing so I'm like okay I need to I think I need to see that one um so yeah still haven't seen it I haven't picked it up but I know a lot of you picked it up and a lot of you loved it I will pick that one up soon it is on my to pick up soon list and that's another thing that hopefully in July and August 
it's okay, it's just not the best for new releases. I can then backtrack and pick up some things that I haven't picked up, you know, over the months. But anyway, so yeah, Kingsman Secret Service, everyone was excited about that one. Another one that came out this week was Mordecai, is that how you say it, with Johnny Depp? And you know what, the other day I had an urge to watch that. I was kind of like, you know what, I wish I would have picked that up. I was in the urge to watch like just a silly funny movie, and I kind of wanted to watch it. I don't know what it is, I didn't. I don't know what got over me, uh, but it still hasn't gone down in price, so I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on that one, because I feel like it's not anything fantastic, it's just going to be okay. Some of you said it's just fine, it's funny, but uh, but yeah, I do really want to watch that, but I'm going to wait for it to come down a little bit in price, and then check that one out. So yeah, those are kind of the two that I definitely really want to see that came out that week. The other two that came out that week was Inherent Vice and Interview, which Inherent Vice I've heard is very, very strange. I actually don't know anything really much about it, so I've just heard it's very, very strange. So that's interesting. I don't know if I'll get to that one anytime soon, but it sounds interesting. And The Interview, I don't know if I'm really that I'm sure I'll probably watch it at some point. When I find it cheap, I'll probably pick it up and watch it and see what all the fuss is about. But I just don't think I'm super excited about them. So if you guys have any thoughts on those two, uh, let me know down in the comments below. Okay, now moving on to the next week when I picked up Selma, which is the movie about Martin Luther King, or Martin Luther King Jr. Um, and his walk, well, there's a group of people's walk from Selma to Montgomery? Is that right? Yes, it is. Thank gosh. Um, yes, and this is basically just set during... 1960. Yes, okay, I'm, I'm on the board. I was going to say 1965. I didn't even get it out before I checked. Uh, 1965, and it is kind of that section. It's not really much else. It's not before, and it's not after, and it's just that time, which is really interesting, because you should move like this, spread out over a long period of time, whereas this one didn't. But I did a whole review about it and talked about all that kind of stuff there. But yeah, overall I enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. Um, it was a powerful movie. I will watch it again, but I've I feel like I've enjoyed movies like you know similar to this more than this one, which is why I only get it four. But the end was great. I loved seeing the you know the true story aspect. This guy was fantastic as Martin Luther King. So good. Um, but yeah, it was it was really an inspiring movie, and it was great to see that kind of section in time. But yeah, so definitely check out Selma if you haven't already. And then I think there was another week when I didn't pick anything up. What came out that week? We shall we shall look and find out. Oh no 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 no! Before we get to the week that's following this, I forgot to say, the week that Selma came out, other things came out. It wasn't just Selma, sorry. Okay, Taken 3. Taken 3 came out that week too. Uh, I want to see Taken 3, I've seen Taken 1, I've seen Taken 2. I want to see Taken 3, but I'm not in a rush to. Taken 2 was, I actually enjoyed Taken 2 more than other people did. Taken 1's great, everyone loves Taken 1. Taken 2, people like, I don't like it. I was actually like, yeah, it's alright, it wasn't the best, it wasn't as good as the first one, but it was okay. Taken 3, I know nothing about, but I will just go ahead and watch it at some point and also Lost River came out that week as well and I'm really excited about this one it's actually really dropped in price really fast I'm gonna pick this up um, very soon was it Lost River let me guess it is I've written it down on my phone uh, I have to keep checking um, yeah it looks really interesting it's a movie directed by Ryan Gosling if you have seen it let me know um, because yeah it's dropped in price I definitely want to pick it up soon uh, but it's a bit worrying me that it's gone down so cheap so soon um, but yeah Lost River I know nothing about it but I want to see it Okay guys, now on to that next week when I didn't pick anything up, that was the week after Selma, we had Fifty Shades of Grey. Da, da, da. Yeah, no, I, I don't think I'm really bothered to watch it at all. I think I probably will at some point in my life, um, just to see. But um, it's not really something that, I don't know, I don't know why I'm so not bothered about it. Everybody's dead excited about it, but everybody who's watched it, nobody, I've not heard anyone really say it's good. That's the thing, people are just, it's just this whole big thing. I feel like I'm not watching it on principle to the fact that this movie's making loads of money even if it's not a great movie and it's kind of annoying because there's this thing going on about it that everyone's like oh my gosh 50 shades of grey and then everyone's going to see it because of the you know the i don't know the controversy of it i've heard it's not even that but then again i don't know i, d I don't know i've not seen it so i don't know um but so i feel like a lot of people you know are spending a lot of m not spending a lot of money but you know they're going to the cinema to see it they're buying it there's all this thing about it and it's probably not going to be that much worth it so i kind of feel like i don't want to I don't want to give it that joy. Um, so yeah, Fifty Shades are great. And then also, Black Hat came out this week too with um, Chris Hensworth, who I love because he's Thor. And that's the only reason I want to see this one. I do want to see it, uh, but I don't really understand quite what it's about. But that's okay, I will watch it. I love watching things and being surprised. The other day I watched a movie. I didn't have a clue what this movie was going to be about. I was like, yeah, I'll watch this movie. I thought it was kind of like an action movie, and it kind of was, but it really surprised me. And I just ended up enjoying it so much. Uh, I hadn't even seen barely the trailer for Whiplash when I watched it. Loved it. I do that. I like to not know things. Oh, speaking of not knowing things, I really do well in the intertwining of things here. Right? <laughs> speaking of not knowing things, the next week, um, after the week we've just been talking about, I went ahead and picked up Cake. This movie 
I knew not very, very little about this movie and I'm going to be talking about it in Friday Reviews which is going to be hard because I don't really want to tell anybody much about it because I didn't know much about it. Basically, all I knew was that it was about this woman and she was kind of in this group, like a support group. I've seen a little bit of the trailer, I can't remember why. Anyway, because I don't really, I've seen, I watched like a fraction of a second of the trailer if I want to. Uh, anyway, I watched a fraction of a second of this trailer and it's about these people in a support group and this happens in the first like five seconds of the movie, so this isn't a spoiler. Uh, people in a support group, and obviously Jennifer Anderson is their main character. And this one girl in the support group, before we see it, she's she's died, she's killed herself. Um, and it's kind of just them discussing it. And from what I can gather, it was you know she it's this woman who goes to the support group because um, she has an addiction to um, prescription drugs. And that was all I knew about this movie. That was it. That's all I knew. And this movie surprised me so much this movie blew me away it was such a moving incredible story i loved this movie i get four and a half stars with my second best favorite of the month uh whiplash and then this this is a fantastic movie i definitely recommend you check it out it was just it's been stuck in my mind i'm gonna watch this one again soon uh whilst i was watching it i was kind of like, i don't know if this is really a rewatchable movie um but then when i finished watching it i was like yes i will rewatch this movie um jennifer anston was fantastic her point for her, blah, blah, her performance was amazing and i loved this movie and yeah i knew nothing about it and i was so happy that i didn't really know much about it before watching it because i loved it uh, so yeah that's cake also during that week i picked up the second best ex the second best exotic marigold hotel what a mouthful uh, because i really enjoyed the first one i watched this one last night i enjoyed it it was good it was nice i liked that it kept kind of the same cast same characters um, I had a few little problems with it, but mostly I really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. But I will be talking about it in Friday, Friday, Friday reviews, Friday, Friday, Friday film reviews. That's the tune. Uh, I'll be talking about it in Friday reviews, so I won't really talk about it too much here. But overall, I enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the first one, you'll enjoy the second one. Like I said, there was a couple of things that griped me. I gave it four stars. I gave the first one four and a half. So, but it's such a beautiful setting. Uh, I love the characters, Maggie Smith is my favourite in this movie um, but yeah so overall I enjoyed it but I will talk about it more soon so what else came out last week it was only literally the other day so let me look um what was it aha aha okay it follows also came out everybody's saying it's fantastic now I need to watch it at some point soon I'm gonna pick that one up very soon because you guys are all saying it's great and it had all five stars on it I can't remember who told me they didn't like it I think it was like a friend or someone said oh they didn't like it or it wasn't very good or I saw on Twitter it wasn't very good I don't know see because I don't watch trailers I don't watch really many reviews until after I've watched the movie after I've watched the movie I go and watch a bunch of reviews and people what they think about it and stuff um but before I watch the movie I like to go in not knowing much uh, but with that one I'd heard somewhere something bad sometimes if I hear something bad it kind of get seen I'm like oh wait I've heard a bad thing but then you guys are like there to be like no no it's really good so that's good because otherwise I might have put it off a bit longer but I definitely want to pick that up soon uh, you guys have been saying great things about it and then also Jupiter Ascending came out you guys have been saying terrible things about that movie um so I'm glad I didn't pay 20 pounds for it on 3d because I do want to get the 3d blu-ray but I probably just probably just really wait a while on that one I definitely want to get a few more um other 3d blu-rays before I pick that one up so I'm glad I held off with that one. Um, but yes, that's pretty much it for this video. These are all the ones that I picked up during the month of June. And look, we didn't get any movies that were less than four stars. I had a five star, I had three four stars. I don't know if I gave Shaun of the Sheep four or four and a half. I really can't remember. Uh, I think I gave it four. I really don't know though. Um, so I got five star, three four stars, and one four and a half star and so yeah it's a great month for um, the pickups that i chose to pick up and hopefully well next month i feel like it will be a smaller pile maybe about two or three so yeah it's not looking the best but there's definitely some that i want to pick up next month that i'm gonna wait on a bit i feel like next month's a bit of a that one's okay that looks good i'm gonna enjoy it but i'm gonna wait for the price um because i don't know if i'm gonna love it that's that, ne next month's that kind of thing going on um, but yeah, until then guys, let me know down in the comments below if you have seen any of these movies or any of the ones mentioned. What did you pick up in June? What have you enjoyed? Are you excited for July's releases? Let me know down below. Until then, I'll see you next time. Thumbs up if you enjoy these monthly recap type of videos. I'll see you then. Goodbye!